Good day, everybody. I'm Stephen Yao. I'm a Cisco certified instructor from Global Knowledge Malaysia. My CCSI is three zero three one zero. Today, I'm going to present a topic on access control list. Okay, so uh, we start with what is the usage of ACL. So uh, I define ACL as access control list. It's basically a simple filtering IP packet filtering tools okay as you can see from this slide uh, the ACL is used to filter IP packet passing through a router so the traffic initiated from the router is not being filtered even though with the use of ACL second usage of ACL is used to classify the types of traffic for the QoS deployment application filtering now another important uh, aspect of ACL is to define whether the packet is allowed to pass through the router or not if the packet is allowed to pass through then we have the action call permit the packet passing through the router or else it will be denied denied IP packet meaning that the uh, ACL policy is set to block the traffic from passing through the router so without the ACL application on the router, so all packet will be transmitted without any kind of filtering to and from the router. Now from this slide here, you can also see beside IP packet filtering, ACL is used to define for the uh, interesting traffic, those traffic that you need to be encrypted to pass through a, a public network using VPN for example those network uh, you need to transmit via a secure communication via a secure tunnel using VPN so this is another aspect of ACL to define the the type of traffic you need to protect secondly we can use ACL to uh, filter the route distribution the route redistribution from two different types of network like for example BGP and RIP or EIGRP and OSPF. Now, third usage of ACL, we can use ACL, the, the ACL to define interesting traffic. What kind of uh, local network IP traffic can be uh, allowed, can be allowed to access internet resources using network address translation based energy. Okay, this slide is actually describing how the ACL operation works. Okay, in the uh, traffic filtering, we have two types of filtering. We can filter traffic by inbound, means incoming traffic, or outbound, that is called outgoing traffic filtering. Okay, based on this slide, we are, look, we are looking like how the router process the uh, outgoing traffic or outbound traffic operation. Now, upon router receive packet from the incoming interface or inbound interface, so the router will go and check whether this address or this destination is reachable or not by checking through the routing table. If the routing table found the entry, so the route has the outbound interface, so the traffic will be uh, route to the outbound interface. Now, if there is a ACL being implemented at the outbound interface so the ACL will be executed so based on the ACL in the list of ACL there will be a couple of uh, statements we call it ACL rules or uh, access list or access control rules so each rule will be tested based on the higher priority so once the first ACL rule is match so the action will be permit or deny if this rule is matched based on permit then the packet will be forward out through the outbound interface if the packet is denied based on the first match then the packet will be discarded from being routed out through the outbound interface so if the packet is not fulfilling the first statement or the first rule then it will pass on to the second rule so if no match of the ACL statement 
the packet is denied implicitly meaning that there will be a last overall statement to reject or deny all types of packet which is not fulfilled any ACL rules okay this slide show you a list of the access list rule based on the top priority if the first match is at the match then it will be having the action permit or deny as you can see from here if permit then it will be going out if deny then it will be rejected if none of this match then it will forward to the next second rules and so on and so forth until if none of the list is matched then there is a, a implicit deny rule which is reject or packet do not fulfill any of the S ACL rule statement types of access list we have two major types of access list standard access list and extended access list so the standard access list is basically checking the source IP addresses so once the source IP addresses match that it ties into the permit or deny statement for the whole entire IP packet so the extended access list basically you have a much granular check on source IP addresses as well as destination address beside that it is also check based on other protocol specification for example port number and those uh, IP protocol application so these two methods is used to define the uh, filtering policies so to identify the different types of access list standard or extended is based on number one is the number the second method is based on the name means the types okay so this table is actually uh, give you the uh, brief view brief view and brief and clear view about to identify the types of access list now based on the number range here from 1 to 99 access list number 1 to 1 is 1 to 99 is referring to the IP access list standard In the second range number 1300 to 1999 it is also referring to standard access list so the extended number access list referring to 100 to 199 or the second range of number 2000 to 2699 all this range referring to the IP standard and extended access list now beside the number access list we can also use name the name conventions is defined as standard or extended followed by a descriptive name for the types of access list as for example or you can put name standard name extended that is also used to define the different types of access list okay uh, based on this simple introduction of what is access list i hope you can have a better idea what is the usage of access list and how to identify the different types of access list thank you